Hey friends, I have got to show you what I got today. You won't believe it. Anyway, I usually pick my granddaughters up from school Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And every time I pick them up, they always got to have a treat or a little drink or something. So we always hit the little gas station slash, uh, it's called Saddle Up Grocery. And it's a gas station and like a convenience store. So when I went in there, I'm waiting for them to get their little goodies and, you know, their, their drink. And I see this basket that's standing up. It's about yay tall. And it said everything two for a dollar. And I'm looking at it thinking, I'm not reading that right. So I go over there and everything in there is two for a dollar. And it, it is because it, it has expired, you know, like last month. So it's still good stuff because even the way our expiration dates work, it doesn't mean the stuff is bad on expiration date. It just means it's reached its peak uh, freshness. So you can still get another year or two out of stuff after it's expired with the exception of dairy products. Anyway, so I got these for two for a dollar, 50 cents a piece. So this normally they got it marked for two nineteen. So this is beefy onion and uh, onion mushroom soup. I got two of those. Another onion mushroom. I got that and two beefy and two onion. So two dollars for all that. That winds up being twenty five cents a package. Yeah, you can't make it that cheap. And then I got these. The Serto um, Sure Gel Liquid Sure Gel. Two for a buck. I use that, I, and that won't even last till next year because I'll use this all up next year making my jam. So I got some liquid pectin. So I got four of those, 50 cents a piece. Couldn't believe it. And then they had spices on sale, two for a dollar. All this stuff was two for a buck. And this is the pumpkin pie spice, the little things of pumpkin spice, pie spice. They're seven dollars otherwise. What the heck is so? Why are these so expensive? I don't get it. But anyway. 50 cents. I'll pay 50 cents for that, but I wouldn't pay $7 for it. And then here's the good one. Now these, these are what expired um, the 18th of December. They had to, they had to have them off the shelves. You know, they can put them on sale after that, but I got peach um, pie filling. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. And for 50 cents a can, I'll get another at least three years. You know, the cans look good. They're not dented. They're not cracked. They're not rusted. So I'm assuming, you know, it's all good inside that can still. And anyway, again, the way our um, expiration dates work, you still can get anywhere from three to six years beyond the expiration date before it's really questionable. And some people will argue with me, but again, I would tell you, go to the USDA website because that's where I get my information. And they don't lie to us. So anyway, that stuff I got. And I spent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars on all this stuff. Nine bucks. You can't beat that. That's a heck of a little grocery haul there. So that literally is for the pantry. It's things like that. I mean, I know it wasn't expected. I wasn't planning on getting it, but you know what? I couldn't pass that up. So all the times I go to the grocery store and literally save money, that's how I can, you know, pull it out of my grocery fund to get stuff like this. It's fantastic. So there you are, friends. A little more for the pantry. Check out at your grocery stores. Always check out. They got little discount racks. They got you know, aisles that might have some discount, discounted food, check it out. And if it's, if the, the cans look good, get it because you, you can still get three to six years beyond an expiration date. And if you're not sure and you don't want to believe me, which is absolutely fine, go to the USDA website and educate yourself on it. You'll save a lot of money. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.